Hey, hey, good evening, Felipe. Hello, Julio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? A little tired. <laughs> yeah, it's a little late. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What happened, Felipe? A lot of work today. Yes, a lot of work this day. Imagine some days is more difficult, right? Yeah. But tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> Friday and Saturday is more easy job. Yes, it's easier than it's more relaxing or no? No, <laughs> only Sunday. <laughs> only Sunday, right? Only Sunday. Yeah. When the when you don't work. <laughs> Okay. Julio, how was your day? Ah, okay, no problem, no problem, Julio. <laughs> Salvador, how are you? Very fine, teacher. Okay. You are ready to relax. <laughs> uh, so so. <laughs> no relax, huh? Um, I stress uh, al cien por ciento. A hundred percent, huh? Full stress, Salvador. Sí, sí, sí. Estamos, bueno, luego de, de la constancia, estamos implementando una nueva aplicación y pues quita tiempo. But the app is easy or no? Um, it's very easy, um, but um, people um, not very intelligent. <laughs> no, no quieren. No quieren, no quieren la, la aplicación mucho. O no tienen la tecnología, el, el teléfono adecuado, etc. Uh, and, uh, and the application. And the application is to order. Um, no, no, no entendí ahí lo último. The, the application is for, for order, is for para órdenes. Para, para the hacer. application for order. Yes. Okay. Sí, correcto. Okay. Así, así que ahí vamos. Mm. Okay. Eh, little by little, right? Sometimes it's, it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. Depend the technology, the people. Correct. Mm -hmm. Bastante, bastante complicado, pero tenemos que seguir adelante, ni modo. Okay, okay. Así escucho que varios se quejan de esa nueva aplicación. Eh, esto es, eh, es bien difícil para, eh, o sea, para ustedes o para el usuario o cómo, que, o, o simplemente solo para el nuevo. No, no es la, la aplicación es bastante amigable. El problema es que Veámoslo así, la pandemia impulsó la tecnología eh, cuando la mayoría de gente no estaba preparada. Entonces, uh -huh. toca adaptarse, pero adaptarse lleva su tiempo. Eh, en cambio, eh, la velocidad a la que vamos, pues no le está dando tiempo a la mayoría para adaptarse. Veámoslo de esa manera. Sin embargo, pues tenemos que llegar a ese punto, pues. Así como dijeron en un momento, van a haber clases virtuales. Ay, nadie Hola, quería las clases virtuales. This application Hola, good evening. Es una realidad completa. Everybody, excuse me. Uh -huh. Steve, good evening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good evening, Isidro. Hello. ¿Cómo está la raza? ¿Me extrañaron? <laughs> ¿Quién? <laughs> Ajá, Salvador. Ah, pues precisamente eso. Ok. 
vamos a una velocidad increíble en todo, pero o adaptamos o no adaptamos. Así de simple. Ok, ok. Es para el proceso actual. The application is garbage. <laughs> <risa> Two years later, uh, dos, dos años atrás la intentaron aplicar y no funcionó para nada. Ah, pero hay que ver por qué. Es porque la gente sí. es la gente es necia y no quiere, así como la tarjeta de los buses de subes. Don't que, work application. Que es lo no mismo trabaja. que lo que usa la mayoría de los mundos de primer mundo que usan tarjeta ya no usan dinero o es porque la aplicación no sirve. La aplicación no sirve. Oh, Se traba, okay. no funciona con el internet de, la, de, de las compañías telefónicas de aquí. No sirve. Mm. No sirve realmente. Es una versión, si fuera funcional, muy buena. Si fuera funcional. Pero en la realidad se queda corta. Aparte okay. de, de eso, las ultrajadas que le dan a uno porque no hay producto en la compañía. ¿Cómo no hay cerveza? ¿Cómo es eso? No hay cerveza, no hay soda. Sí. La Coca-Cola sin Coca-Cola. Ah, pero si ya está echando una heladita. <risa> a, little, a little whisky para la noche ayuda a dormir. Yes. Oh, excellent teacher. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ok. Let's continue. Then. A little. A little. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. It's, we are going to continue today. The activities from yesterday. All right. Uh, unit three. Unit three. Okay. Yesterday, we finished 3.6. You remember yesterday was WH questions. Where, what, how. Okay. Today, we... We review to make sure you understand what with the partner you are going to complete the conversations. We have many conversations. Okay, you select what is the correct question. Question: How, what, or where? Okay. So with the partner, we are going to do for review three point seven, three point seven, and see if you remember the activities. The what the where, the how, the different. You guys ready? 3.7. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, let me see. Mm, we need, hang on. Okay. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, 
A or N plus profession plus apostrophe plus job plus verb to be plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective. Stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article, A. Then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has oh, let's check. Let's okay. see how let's see if the answers are all correct. Number one. What's number one? As whole like number three. Like okay, okay, Number three. Number three. How does she like it? How does she like it? Okay, what about here? Number two, Number two is where work. Number okay. one, okay, okay. Number one, where does your brother work? Okay. Number three, or this one. Like the third one, the third one. No, the second. I think second. The no, second two. Like. Number two. Oh, oh, oh like. Okay, the second. Okay, about conversation three. Um, how mm. like? How like? How like? What like. do you party? Okay. Are you sure? Churisimo. <laughs> what about this one? What's this one? I don't remember. 
Where work? The second one. The second, where work? Where do they work? Okay. And the last conversation. What do? What do what you do? What do you do? What do? What and the last one. Do? And the last one. I. Ah, the last one is how like. Okay. How do you like Conversation your class? Conversation three. Okay. Let's see. Ah, <laughs> excellent. Barbaro. All the answers correct. Mejor Very... ya no hablo. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Remember, the important where is for location. Where is for places. Okay. Yeah. How is if you're feeling the emotion? All right. And what is that thing, the object? Now we're going to continue for today to discuss. Teacher, yes. esos son unos tics, unos consejos como para facilitar la respuesta, ¿no? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Para ponerle cranearla. That's right. Where? When you okay. hear. Where do you work? Ah, it's location. Where do you live? Ah, location. location. Where do you go? Ah, location. Okay. okay. When you hear, how do you like it? Ah, emotion. I like it. I like. How do you like the app? I, I hate it. I. How do you like your job? Ah, I love it. It's the emotion. Okay. Okay. Good. Tiki, tiki. Now we're going to continue with the idea for today. We're going to learn adjectives. How to use adjectives? Okay. Okay. First. Give me some examples. Some of some adjectives. Adjetivos. Exactly. Calificativos. Vaya, si yo, si yo le preguntara que describieran su trabajo, ¿qué adjetivo, what adjectives do you use? Like. Do you use, for example, the adjective, difficult. Yes? Mm. Okay. Maybe okay. the difficult. Maybe the adjective, stressful. Boring. Right. Algo ah. que describe una acción, un hecho. Correct. Maybe boring. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the idea for all of the adjectives. Now, in English, we have two forms. Two forms very common for adjectives. One is is. The other has. Okay. So, for example, as an example, my... Um, Let's see, a doctor, okay, has a stressful job. Okay, or um, we can okay. have, or we can use the other form, a doctor's job is stressful. Two forms, the same idea, the same idea. One with has, one with is. Okay. ¿Cuál es el tip? El tip es que si usas has, el adjetivo va a ir antes de la cosa, antes del trabajo, antes de la descripción, antes de la cosa. Si usas has, si usas is, ah, entonces el adjetivo va a ir después. ¿Se fijan? A doctor's job yeah. is. Ah, ya estoy usando is. Puedo describirlo después. A doctor has. Ah, has. Tengo que poner la descripción antes. This is the tip. Okay. Now we're going to watch a video to understand how to use it. Okay. Here's our video. Let's see a small video. has tips. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. 
How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job. Okay. Ahí todo la plática lo que les dije. Ahí es lo que va diciendo de, ah, de esto y esto y esto, pero es ok. Aquí, simplemente. Vamos a usar is, ah, ok. Si va a usar is, va a poner la descripción después. Is dangerous, is stressful. For example, there. Ok. A firefighter's job is. Se fijan aquí. Tenemos un apóstrofe S porque es una posesión. Significa que el trabajo de un doctor, el trabajo de un bombero. Okay, that's a firefighter's, a doctor's. This is one form. Okay. The other form is this one. Con el has que les había mencionado. Ah, si usamos has, vamos a poner has, okay, a dangerous, lo que sea, la descripción, y después vamos a poner el la profesión, el job, o lo que sea que estamos describiendo. Okay. ¿Cuáles son algunos objetivos? Aquí aparecen. Adjectives, boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. ¿Saben qué significa todos esos adjetivos? Yes. Yes. Stress, stressful, teacher es estresante. Yes. Correct. Stressful okay. es estresante. Stressful. Right. Stressful. Uh -huh. Aquí cuando preguntan de tu trabajo, ah, my job is, y ahí puedes poner boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful, o otro adjetivo, si lo si los sabes. Ok. El nuestro es, sería con dos calificativos, stressful and dangerous. <laughs> And then, ah, yes, yes, yes. De tanta estrés no puede dar un paro cardíaco. <laughs> Stressful and dangerous. Yes. Stressful sí o no, Lipe. Lipe lo sabe. <laughs> yeah. yes. Los clientes no quieren dar duro, Tisher. Es peligroso. <laughs> ya muy caro la cerveza. <laughs> es que no hay cerveza Hola. para aquellos que. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. Ok. No, si sí es cierto, con que yo nunca encuentro la que yo quiero. <risa> El vendedor tiene la culpa, dice, no me la manda. <risa> y la gente lo voltea a ver a uno y uno se hace loco. <risa> <risa> ok, now we're going to practice a little bit about these descriptions, right? Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a practicar un poquito? Ah, perfecto, vamos a hablar de todas las profesiones. Electrician, doctor, a teacher, the different. So for this, okay, we have 3.10. In 3.10, here, we are going to make the sentence. For example, a doctor's job is interesting. Yo, esta es una forma, pero ya sabemos que hay dos formas. Entonces, le toca la otra, la que no está escrita, le, le toca hacer la otra forma. A doctor has an interesting job. <laughs> y así es para todos. Si es is, van a poner has. ¿Verdad? Como ven, todos es is, tienen que trabajarlo con has. Okay. En este caso, no creo que se tarde mucho tiempo porque solo son pocas oraciones. Así que solo tres minutos les voy a dar. <laughs> para que así no pierden mucho tiempo. ¿Yes? Yes. Okay. okay. Three minutes.
Okay. Let's check the answers. Let's see is correct or not correct. Number two, a police officer's job is dangerous. Okay, Roberto, number two. Salvador, number three. Uh, let's see, Enrique, number four. Uh, Jose, number five. Rigoberto, number six. Okay. Okay, number two. Uh... Uh, police offers a dangerous oh perdón, perdón. dangerous job mm, casi casi a police, se... a police office has a dangerous job correct has eso es a police officer has a dangerous job good good number three um a teacher has a stressful job. Correct. Good. Number four. Number four. A plumber has a boring job. Good. Excellent. Number five. Number five, no era Jose. An electrician has a difficult job. Okay, good. Electrician has a difficult job, good. And number six. A vendor has an easy job. Excellent, very good. We've... Steve, what does? Eh, eh, mean vendors vendedores oh si sí. ¿Sí? eso significa vendors es ¿Sí? pregunta. <risa> no es seller man ah no pero ese es diferente porque salesman es el vendedor como en una en, en, una en tienda. un almacén o una tienda ajá eso es oh. Oh. y ahí oh. sería como para cuál aplica el vendors um, Vaya, entonces, de, eh, déjame explicarte un poquito la diferencia. Vaya, un salesman es alguien que te trata de convencer, como cuando vas a comprar, no sé, un carro o vas a comprar eh, ropa. Ese es un salesman. Pero un vendedor, él no salesman. te trata de convencer. Él vende el producto, eh, okay. choripanes, eh, minutas. So, él no te está okay. vendiendo. O sea, okay. Él te vende. Ese es un vendor. Es como... como como uno más, más profesional y otro más empírico. El, el, el profesional es el salesman o the salesperson. Wow. Okay. El salesman. Yes. Okay. Y el vendor es el, la persona okay. que simplemente su trabajo es vender un producto, pero no, le, no, no es necesario convencerte. Como el que se sube al bus. Como el que se sube al bus. Exacto. Ese es un ah, vendor, okay. no un salesman. Uh -huh. Ahora, el que quiere oh, que, que, que compres un paquete para ir a The Cameron, ese es un salesman. Ese es un sinvergüenza. <ríe> Así me trató de vender uno, una caja de cerveza y yo que ni tomo. No, hombre, también. <ríe> so, let's no. see. It's okay. okay. The others, the, los otros trabajos, ¿saben qué es plumber? Es un plomero. Plomero. Plomero, exacto. Plomero. Ajá, fontanero, plomero, excellent. Okay. Um, ¿Y electrician? Electricista. Electricista. Exactly, exactly. Okay, perfect, perfect. Very good. Okay. Hey. Now, Yes? Any questions? No. Mm. Okay. Now, no. we're, now we're going to practice reading. Reading and discussing. Okay. Here we have four readings. The different job. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop 
prediction. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay. And inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading job profiles. Okay. So, ¿saben qué significa job profiles? Sería como profesiones. Ah, ok, ok. Buena idea, buena idea. Como el perfil laboral. El trabajo. Exacto, eso es. Es el perfil laboral. Ok. Excellent. That's job profile. Y vamos a leer sobre Lisa Parker. Vamos a leer sobre eh, Becky Peck, um, John Blue, and Carlos Ruiz. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Hi, everyone. In this okay. Here we have a lot of vocabulary, right? We have a lot of vocabulary. Okay. In the caso de Lisa Parker, John Blue, Becky Peck, and Carlos Weeks. Okay. Let me explain. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esos? La idea es que tanto entendemos lo que estamos leyendo. Okay. Para eso, con el compañero vamos a leerlo y ver y discutir. Hey, ¿qué? ¿Qué significa esta palabra o qué es esto? Vamos a tomarnos unos minutos solo con el compañero para ver qué tanto le estamos entendiendo al perfil, qué es lo que hacen, dónde trabajan, cosas así, ¿ok? Where do they work? What do they do? What is their job? ¿Ok? Eh, todo, cada artículo lo mandé a WhatsApp por si acaso se les hace más fácil en WhatsApp también, pero si no, también ahí en la computadora, ¿ok? Es 3.12. 3.12, okay? So with the partners, we read and we discuss, okay? Antes de leerlo, una vez más, vamos a escuchar para estar seguro la pronunciación. Si hay alguna palabra que no están seguro, anótenla para cuando la escuchen, ahí lo pueden pronunciar bien. This class will develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. 
He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, so now with your partner, you read, okay, here, the 3.12. We read the profile. You can make bigger. Uh, I have one question. Yes. Yes. With Carlos Ruiz, uh, what does mean? When, oh, what do you refer when he says he plans? Is he plans it, lessons. Uh huh. He plans the classes. These are the lessons. Plans. What does mean? Plan. Planifica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So now with the partner, All right. you read and you discuss what is the meaning uh, for this, the different ones, okay? So this is 3.13. With the partner, you read and answer. Okay. All right. Okay, one moment, let's see. I think maybe there.
ya, 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 ya salimos. Ok. Let's Así see. estoy viendo, pero no es que le entienda. Let's see, let's see if we understand. Ok, number one. After I win, I take a break. ¿Quién puede decir esto? Lisa. John Blue. John Blue. Ok, John Blue. John Blue. Ok. Number two. I don't usually work in the summer. Number four, Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, okay. Good. The restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, okay. And the last one, after work, my feet and my arms are tired. Becky Peck. Okay, let's take a look. Uh -huh, very good. All correct. Becky Peck, Lisa Parker, Carlos Ruiz, and John Blue. Okay. Good. Any questions for the vocabulary? Any words you don't understand? Okay. No? Todo el vocabulario está bien? No questions? Well, everything clear. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. So there is our 3.13. Okay, now we are going to practice a little for the future, the plans. In the future, we have two forms, right? Is I am going to, this is one form, and the other is I will. Mm -hmm. so, for example, the question we have, what will you do on Saturday? Okay. Or the question, what are you going to do on Saturday? Okay. And the answer, ah. Uh, I am going to uh, work, I am going to study, I am going to watch TV, or I will, I will watch TV, I will study, I will, these are the difference. Okay. Uh, Alejandro? Yes, sí. I'm sorry. Uh, entonces, ¿cuál sería la diferencia cuando utilizaríamos el will y el going to. ¿Será que es cuando algo lo vas a hacer inmediatamente o, y algo lo vas a hacer después? No, no, no. Eh, la diferencia de will y going to es cuando algo está planificado, es going to. Cuando algo todavía no está decidido o oh, tomas la decisión en el momento, es will. Ok. okay. Entonces, Voy por ejemplo, para Navidad, ¿qué vas a hacer? Ah, ya sabemos que voy a ir donde mi mamá. Ah, entonces yo ya sé. I am going to. I'm going. Okay. I'm going to go. No importa si es tiempo corto o tiempo a 10 años. Si está planificado es I am going to. Ok. okay. Ah, eh, ¿qué, va, ¿Qué película vas a ver después de clase? Ah, no sé. Yo me pongo a ver en Netflix a ver lo que me llama. Pero sé que voy a ver una no. película. Entonces ahí yo solo voy. A, I will. I will ah, watch the movie. Will. Mm -hmm. Is the difference. Ok. Entonces, si se toma la decisión en el momento, o si no se sabe porque no está planificado, es will. Si planificamos, es going to. Going mm -hmm. to. Ok. Y si se fijan ahí, les puse la pregunta. En realidad, la pregunta, sí. La pregunta much, es... Muchas veces la gente usa la misma cosa de ah, what will you do or what are you going to do? Pero tu respuesta es la que tiene que indicar si es plan, planificado o no. Ok. Ok, vamos a practicar. Entonces. Anoted. Ok, all right. Alejandro, what are you yeah. going to do on Saturday? Eh... I don't know. Maybe I will to the park with the family. 
muy bien, pero se te olvidó la acción. I will. ¿Qué vas a ir? I will. Oh, to walk. Ok, I will walk. No to walk. walk. I will walk. Walk. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la manera correcta entonces, completando la frase? Así sería. I will walk in the park. Ok. Si quieres mencionar a tu I familia. I will walk in the park. I will walk in the park with my family. With my family. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Porque no sabía, o sea, todavía no está planificado. Exacto. Ok. Ok. Alejandro, haz Julio. Ok. Julius. Hello. What are you going to do on Sunday? I'm I going to to um, the Como que si tenés the, hambre. I'm, um, I'm I'm going to I'm going to mm -hmm. uh, in uh, with my family feed my family with with my family okay y qué es la acción qué es lo que vas a hacer uh, con ellos i'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, at restaurant uh -huh. y, okay entonces uh, qué vas a hacer porque restaurant is uh, 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 it it a comer pupusa it, it at the restaurant good okay Julio good I see entonces la frase correcta sería I'm going to eat in a restaurant a restaurant I'm going to eat in a restaurant in a restaurant okay, okay I'm going Julio. to eat in a restaurant with the family correct correct Julio ask Felipe uh, what what are you going to do on on weekend? Uh, I going to the beach. I'm going to. No se lo olvide el verbo. No solo el lugar. El verbo. I'm going to. As Oh. ¿Cómo se dice ir? Porque me quieres decir, vas a ir a la going. playa. ¿Cómo se dice ir going en inglés? To, I, I'm going to, going to, going to go. 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 Uh -huh. go. I'm going to go. Going to go. I'm going to go to the beach. beach. To the beach. Okay. Esa sería la frase. I'm going to go to the beach. Correct. I'm going to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Felipe, ask Roberto. Roberto, what are you going to, to do on the Saturday? Ok, casi, pero no se va a poner on. Vamos a hacer, what are you going to do on Saturday? No the Saturday, no es el sábado. El el no lo ponemos en inglés. Solo what are you going to do on Saturday? Saturday, ok. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, that's your... <laughs> un, un traguito. <laughs> I going to. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> I go. I going to go to the beach with my family. Okay. Good. Okay. Roberto, ask Rigoberto. Uh, we're going. We're going to weekend. Okay. What? What? Y después, are you going? What are you going? What are you going to do. weekend? Y el verbo, what, por ejemplo, what? Eh, what are you going to do on the weekend? Así sería la pregunta. What are you going to do? on Saturday or on Sunday. Ahí está en el chat también para que lo puede ver por si acaso. Ahí está. Is what are you going to do on the weekend? What are you going to do on the weekend? Okay, good. Rigoberto. Okay. 
I am going uh, go to the beach in in the weekend with my family. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Se te olvidó solo una palabra. Se te olvidó el to. I am going, going to. I am going to go to okay. the beach. Correct. I am going correct. to. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Go. I'm going go. to mm -hmm. the beach. No, no, no. I'm going to. Y ya, me, ya te saltaste y me fuiste directo al the beach. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Porque es el lugar. ¿Cuál es la acción? I'm ah, going okay. To... I'm going to go. Exactly. Go to the beach. To the beach. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rigoberto, ask Enrique. To the beach. Okay, Enrique. Uh, what will you do on Saturday? Mm -hmm. I will visit my family in Awashapan. Correct Awashapan. answer. Good, good, Enrique. Correct. It's correct. All right. Hoy la tenía bien craneada. Ah, no, no, si la estuve escribiendo, no, no lo vieron ahí anotando la que está ahí está. Good, good, Enrique. Ya la tenía escrita en un papel. <laughs> ok, sí. Enrique, ask José. Ok, what, what are you going to do for Christmas? Oh, más lejos te la puso, ok. <laughs> El micrófono lo tenés en silencio, el micrófono lo tenés en silencio. Yo, oh, ¿Para qué me preguntaste? Okay. <risa> ok, what are you going to do for Christmas? Uh -huh. Christmas, ¿qué voy a hacer yo en, Nav en, en Navidad? Va? Sí. Eh, Tienes que responder I'm going to go y lo demás. Ajá. De, depende de lo que vas a hacer. Vas a poner I'm going to y la acción eh. si lo tenés planificado. Acuérdate, si ya lo tenés planeado es I'm going to. Si no sabes es I will. I will. Eh, sería I will go shopping. Oh, okay, I will With go shopping. Your family. Yes, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. A Walmart for a Black Friday, right? Ah, uh -huh. posiblemente, <laughs> ahí, posiblemente, pero it's good, it's good. All right, Jose, ask Salvador. Ya le digo, ya le digo, ya, ya lo dijeron las señoras, <laughs> cocina nueva. <laughs> Okay, Jose, ask Salvador. Hello. Um, what is the weekend? Ahí está en el chat. Si, si te confundís, ahí está en el chat. Ahí lo pusimos. Hay dos formas de preguntar. What will you do? Y puedes cambiar ahí la fecha, el día, lo que sea. Or what are you going to do? Uh, what are you doing to Saturday? Te saltaste el verbo. Te saltaste el verbo. What are you going to? What, uh, what are you going to, to do on Saturday? Okay, to do on Saturday. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to go Volcán de San Salvador. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh, nice, very nice. Okay. Very good. Ahora, esta estructura que acabamos de practicar se utiliza solo cambiando el verbo. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo quiero hablarle a Roberto, pero ya no quiero saber lo que va a hacer, sino que qué va a comer, que, eh, a dónde va a ir, a lo, lo diferente, qué va a ver, con quién. Ah, entonces, uso la misma estructura, pero cambio el verbo. Entonces, ya no le voy a poner do, 
ahora quiero saber de comer. Ah, entonces le digo a Roberto, Roberto, what are you going to eat on Sunday? Eat. Uh -huh. mm. Ya, hey. yo, yo a, a Felipe quiero saber qué, qué película va a ir a ver. Ah, what are you going to see on Saturday? Ok. A, a Salvador hey. dice que va a ir al volcán, va a ir a, a, al volcán de San Salvador. Yo quiero saber qué va a tomar. What are you going to drink in the volcano? Or what are you going to drink on Saturday? Es ok. Ok. Soso? Drink. Soso. Oh. Oh, so. Okay. Okay. So, so. Entonces, si vemos el chat, lo único que vamos a cambiar es en vez de tener la palabra do. Una cheva bien helada cuando llega hasta arriba. Uh -huh. En vez de do, van a poner la, el verbo. Si, si nos fijamos, es what will you do on Saturday? Cambiamos el do. What will you eat on Saturday? What will you watch on Saturday? What will you eat? Cambiamos el verbo. What will you play on Saturday? Mm -hmm. o sea, solo porque what, what will you or what are you going to? Simplemente es la estructura para el futuro. Ok. Every, Felipe. Everything is, everything you can shame, but, but not this. But not this, exactly. You can change where, you can change, but uh, this, no. Are you going to? No. Okay. This, no. Or will you? No. This is the same. Okay? Okay. Acuérdense de, ahora ya finalizamos la lección 3. Entonces, ya estamos 1, 2 y 3. Ahora, ¿por qué es importante? Porque... Si nos fijamos, si nos acordamos, el fin de semana tenemos tiempo para hacer la parte más difícil, que es el repaso y el examen de la unidad 1, 2 y 3, que está listening, ok, complete the conversation, unscramble the sentence, que tienen que poner la oración en orden, select the word, que es vocabulario, seleccionar, ok, And here, uh, select the question. Que aquí, como hemos hecho, de, aquí ya está la pregunta para esta respuesta. Tenemos que estar claro que es el how, el where y el what. Lo que practicamos hoy al principio. Y al final, simplemente lo que acabamos de ver de descripciones, de los adjetivos. ¿Cuál se usa? Se usa have, se usa is, se usa cuáles son las palabras correctas que se usa. Ok. Así que tienen todo el fin de semana para tomar el examen tranquilamente. Puede ser una parte un día, otra parte el otro día, otra parte el otro. Así, ¿ok? Pero para el mar, para el lunes, ya completado las tres secciones y el examen. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Así que cuando le pregunten, okay. what are you going to do this weekend? Ah, van a contestar. I'm going to study. I'm going to work. I'm going to... Ah, y ahí va. <laughs> I'm going to eat. I'm going to do the homework. <laughs> I'm going to study. Uh -huh. I'm going to party. Party. Okay. Uh, weekend, I see you on Monday. Thank I you for coming. You okay. Okay. okay, thanks. Thank you. Very Thank, much. You. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye, friends. Good night. Thank you. Bye, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.